Hawaii had a strong influence on South Korea's first president, who lived here for more than three decades. Sir Annalisa Burgos reports from his historic home in Seoul. This is the private residence of the family of Dr. Syngman Rhee. He is considered the George Washington of South Korea, the Republic of Korea, because he is the first president. And his uh, daughter-in-law and son still live on this property. We got a chance to speak to him about how Hawaii influenced his leadership in the Korean independence movement. In Korean Christian Church on Sunday, they always uh, uh, go to church. This is uh, mother, my mother-in-law, and uh, he, when he was uh, 30 years old, huh? 30, this is uh, 30 years old uh, at the time you were. Uh, yeah. Fond memories of their time in Hawaii. In Suri with his adoptive parents, Korea's first president, Syngman Rhee, and first lady, Francesca Donner. The elder Rhee moved to Hawaii in 1904 among the first wave of Korean immigrants. The scholar fled political persecution as a critic of Korean royalty and Japanese colonial rule. Rhee earned a master's degree at Harvard and doctorates at Princeton and spent 30 plus years as a freedom fighter, serving as the first president of Korea's provisional government in exile. On the Japanese, Korean people cannot be educated his uh, most important thing is education. Rhee's daughter-in-law, Hye Ja Cho, explained how Rhee established Christian churches and schools for Korean immigrants across Hawaii, making it a critical hub for Korea's independence movement. Japanese rule ended after World War II and Korea was divided in half. The Soviet Union occupied the North and the United States controlled the South. Supported by the Americans, Rhee was elected president of the new Republic of Korea in 1948. That first government was born in his home, Iwa Jung. During the Korean War, Rhee invested in industrialization using donations from Koreans in Hawaii and the sale of the 24-acre Korean Christian Institute to build a polytechnic institute called Inha University, named for both Incheon and Hawaii. Education very important to development Korean now. While some criticized Rhee's pro-American views, many acknowledge the benefits of the U.S. alliance. Very important. Very important to fight to communist, communism. Still, that hardline anti-communist stance makes Rhee a controversial figure, a champion of democracy decried as a dictator for silencing critics and changing the rules to remain in power with military backing. He was a real kind of a, a heroic leader uh, when he was in Hawaii. But he is a very, very strong-minded, self-centered person uh, in that sense. He had a, his, his own view. After 12 years as president, Rhee was ousted after a series of deadly student-led protests. He fled to Honolulu in 1960 and died in exile five years later at Maunalani Nursing Home. Still, Rhee is remembered as the father of the Republic of Korea, a dream that started in Hawaii but is only half complete. Rhee envisioned one Korea under one democracy, unlikely anytime soon. Kim Jong-un is really the poison of Korea. But Cho is optimistic. After all, Korea's independence would not have been possible without those first brave immigrants. Korean people in Hawaii still love Korea. Reporting in Seoul, Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now.